Hi everyone, my name is Subin. For today, you can call me the water lover. Why? Well, that's because my favorite drink of all is water. Although yours may be, or although yours may be something different, I think you might still be interested in my research on drinking water because all drinks, including yours, contain water. As a biologist, I'm interested in learning about the tiny living things that are in the water we drink. In Metro Vancouver, we're able to drink safe water free of pathogens thanks to the treatment steps involved. To get rid of microbes that are harmful for water drinkers like us, there are steps like ultraviolet light disinfection, which is short for UV, and yes, it's like the UV from the sun, but this one comes from a long manufactured lamp that looks like a lightsaber. UV is an effective disinfectant that damages the DNA of microbes, but the problem here is that UV doesn't actually kill them. So after some time, there's a risk of them regrowing from healing themselves, almost like sick microbes recovering from a cold. And this isn't good news for us because it takes time for the treated water to reach our tap. So who knows what's really going on in the water traveling in the pipes? Now, knowing that there is potential for microbes to regrow after UV treatment, here's one other thing. What helps these microbes continue to grow is by eating, just like how we eat carbs to fuel ourselves up. Similarly, microbes eat up super tiny nutrient molecules to grow, which are already often found in the water to start with. But more can also accumulate by the breakdown of dead microbes from disinfection. So this is where my thesis comes in. To investigate the impact of UV, time, and nutrients on the microbial communities of drinking water, I will first collect water samples from our local treatment facility. Then I will add additional nutrients in the UV treated water samples for those regrown microbes to continue eating and growing on over time. And with a technique you may have heard of called DNA sequencing, I'll be able to get the identity of all the microbes in the water samples based on their genetic information, which I can use to compare the changes that occurred in the different conditions. Which ones survived the UV disinfection? Which ones regrew more after UV and thrive by eating up their nutrients? Are questions I'm eager to find the answers to. By doing this research, you and I would be able to understand better what the impacts are of UV, time, and nutrients on the various microbes present in our drinking water. But most importantly, as a true water lover myself, I hope this research can provide data that can help improve our drinking water treatment design to ensure the water traveling through the pipes to reach its final destination of your tap is in good shape for a cool, delicious glass of water ready for you. Thank you.